Hello, my dears. How are you? Welcome back to our English class. And I know uh, you are keeping fine, well, and happy. Aren't you happy? Yes, you are happy. I know. So, uh, keep going in a happy mood. Then uh, we can study well, we can live well, everything will be well. Okay, today uh, we are going to listen to a conversation between two friends. Are you ready? And before that, take a notebook and pen with you. Uh, we should have something to write in your notebook. So, keep the book and pen near you. Okay, are you ready? Then listen here. Listen to the uh, conversation. So the name of the friends are Jita and Anu. Jita and Anu. Okay, let's listen to Jita and Anu. Hi Jita. Do you know this person? This is the person. Do you know him? Just uh, ransack your memory. Do you remember? Can you identify this person? Why not? He is a well-known poet and lyricist. I think you can help me in preparing his profile, can't you? So Anu is asking Jita to help her with preparing a profile of this person. Do you know this person? Yes, he is Vailan Ryamavarma, the famous, the well-known poet and lyricist. So let us continue the uh, conversation. Sure. Let's consult our Malayalam teacher also. She is well informed about almost all the Malayalam writers. <coughs> That's a good idea. Ah, it's a luck. She is coming to us. Good morning, teacher. Would you please help us? Of course, I'm your well wisher. Anu wants to prepare a profile of Vaila Ryamorma. You know, he didn't even complete his secondary education. You know what is secondary education? That is high school education up to 10 from 8 to 10, 8, 9, 10. It is known as secondary education. Unbelievable! How a man 
with such meager education can bring out such wonderful and learned poems so wonderful and have you heard uh, his poems his um, lyrics so his songs malayalam songs have you heard so beautiful songs that's why anu is saying how a man with such meager education can bring out such wonderful and learned poems This is the time for you to read the conversation. Okay. He is a well-read man. His parents are very well off. They brought him all books. Reading makes a full man. That is the comment by Anu. Reading makes a full man. sure reading makes a full man that's sure it said that he would render lyrics spontaneously even through telephone even through telephone he will render uh, poems lines of the poems he will say he could say the uh, lines of the um, songs through telephone that is that is the great genius interesting let's know more about him namale kollalo nu parayile that is interesting let's know more about him okay so uh, now we have listened to a conversation between two friends have you noticed uh, that in that conversation there are some uh, highlighted words words with uh, red red color have you noticed if not i will show you the conversation once more read and notice those words and write them down in your notebook that's why i asked you to keep your pen and book okay ready i will show you the conversation once more listen and don't forget to write down you should write down the highlighted words words in red color okay
are you writing down the highlighted words? Okay, I hope uh, you have uh, written down the highlighted words. What are they? How many words are there? Are they highlighted words? Let us check. Check your notebook. Okay, I will uh, show the words. This is the first one. Well known. Have you written it? Okay. Next is well informed. Second word. Have you written? Okay. The third is well wisher. Fourth, well read. Well read. How we will read this word? Well read. Well off. What was the last word? Well off. What was the last word? Well off. Okay. Now, do you know the meaning of these words? And have you noticed the one uh, peculiarity? All these words start with well. And there is a hyphen between the two words. Well read, well known. There is a hyphen between the uh, two words. Okay, uh, do you know the meaning of these words? Can you guess the meaning from the context? Let us try. Okay, uh, this is the first context. He is a well-known poet and lyricist. Write down the meaning. You can guess in your notebook. What may be the meaning of the word well-known? Well-known. Okay. Now, uh, let us see. Well-known means, yes, means, this is famous. What is the meaning of the word well-known? Famous. You know the meaning of famous. Yes, uh, don't you? Yes, you know. Okay. Next one. Oh, what is the next word? Well-informed. This is the sentence. She is well-informed about almost all the Malayalam writers. What may be the meaning of well informed? Uh, you can write the meaning in Malayalam or in English. As you guess. 
മലയാളത്തിലോ ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലോ ആ വേർഡിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എഴുതി വെക്കാം എന്താണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലായത് ഓക്കെ വെൽ ഇൻഫോംഡ് മീൻസ് ഹവ് യു റിട്ടൺ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഗസ് എഴുതി കഴിഞ്ഞോ ദൻ ലെറ്റ്സ് സി വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് This is the meaning. Having a lot of knowledge about a topic. Having a lot of knowledge about a topic. One part of the world is one part of the world. One part of the world is one part of the world. That is well informed. Okay. So let's go for the next word. What is the next word? Do you remember? Yes. What is the next word? tell me mm yes well wisher well wisher this is the sentence am your well wisher yes guess the meaning and write down in your notebook well wisher well wisher means yes write down yes this is the meaning listen here well wisher means someone who wishes another person to be happy someone who wishes another person to be happy mattral sandoshamai irikkanam enna aagrahikkunna aalukaleyana well wisher ennu parayunnathu so in malayalam you know abhyudaya kamchi അതിൽ നല്ലത് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് അല്ലേ വെൽ വിഷർ അഭ്യുദയ കാക്ഷി ഓക്കെ വെൽ വിഷർ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗോ ഫോർ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വേൾഡ് വെൽ റെഡ് ലിസൺ ഹൗ വിൽ യു റീഡ് ദിസ് വേൾഡ് വെൽ റെഡ് വെൽ റെഡ് Uh, I often say, says you, uh, when you uh, uh, give me something, uh, s- some recording, well read. But there is uh, no hyphen in between the well and uh, read. Here there is a hyphen, well read. So what may be the uh, meaning? Just guess the meaning, okay? Well read means... means okay here it is here the meaning having gained a lot of knowledge by reading by reading books magazines etc and do you remember uh, the sentence uh, the dialogue by anu reading makes a full man uh, it's a quotation quotation from francis bacon a well known a british writer francis bacon an ancient ancient years and years ago uh, what is the name francis bacon so reading makes a full man so what do you mean by well read having gained a lot of knowledge by reading okay next word come to the next word what is the what is the next word do you remember yes well off this is the sentence his parents are well off guess the meaning and write down in your notebook in english or in malayalam no problem well off means okay you finished writing your guess finished your guess let's see what is the meaning of well off yes in a good position his parents are well off in a good position okay so uh, these are the words uh, we came across in the conversation 
Okay, now let us see some more words. Listen here. Well bred. Well bred. Write down in your notebook. Well bred. Next. Well done. Write down. Well done. Third one. Well being. Well being. Next word. Well knit. Well knit. Uh, what what happened to that word? Ah, there is a silent word. Silent letter. What is that silent letter? Well knit. Yes, K is silent. Well knit. Knitting. Don't you know knitting? Taikiga. That is. Well knit. Write down. So another word is well grounded. You know the ground, don't you? Okay, but this word is well grounded. Well grounded. Write down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five words are here. So guess the meaning of those words those five words and write it down in your notebook okay just guess anything very uham that's all and write down in write down the meaning in your notebook in english or in malayala no problem in both languages So this is the time for your guess. Write down the meaning. Just guess and write down. I hope you have uh, done your guessing. Okay. If you are correct or not, don't you want to know? Whether you are correct or not. Don't you? So, I will give you a context. His behavior in the party was very impressive. He is a well-bred person. Here is a context. You can guess the meaning of well-bred once more. You can correct your uh, guessing if you want. Next. Well done, my children. You have painted the picture beautifully. So, you guess the meaning of well done. Correct your guessing. Okay. Okay, here is the next one. The duty of a ruler is to ensure the well-being of the people. So you can uh, correct your guessing of well-being. It's very simple, isn't it? Next one. A well-knit plan is necessary for the success of a program. A well-knit plan is necessary for the success of a program. Well-knit. Correct your guessing. Okay, here is the last context for the last word. Einstein's theory 
theories are well grounded. Einstein's theories are well grounded. Don't you know Einstein? Yeah, our greatest scientist of the century. His theories are well grounded. So, I hope you have made some corrections in your guessings from this context. Now, let us know whether uh, your guessings are correct or not. But I am not going to give you the meaning. It's your duty, your work to find out the correct meaning. Are you ready? Then, what can you do? What can you do to get the uh, meaning of uh, this, these words? You can refer a dictionary or you can refer Google or just search in Google the meaning of these words well-bred, well-being, etc. You can get the uh, meanings and um, what other sentences also. Then you can frame your own sentences. Okay. So, and then there is one more thing. Compare the meaning with the ones you have written down in the notebook. Your guess. Compare the real meaning and your guess. Uh, that's a very important thing about English language. Uh, there are some difference in meaning when we uh, when some words are combined together. There, there is a difference in meaning when some words are combined together. Here, all these words, uh, I think uh, 10 or 11 words we have uh, came across we have come across so uh, these words are a combination of two words well a hyphen and another word so uh, these are the well words we can say well uh, words so uh, find out the meaning from a dictionary or from google and write down in your notebook and After the class, I will give you an exercise uh, to uh, and reinforce these words. So do that exercise and you will be well informed about these words. Okay, so don't forget to come our uh, group for the discussion and see you there. And see you again in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. See you.